Hey guys and welcome back to another video of the Powerpill Way Excel series. This is going to be a generic response to most of the Excel tools that Mike and Bill are actually having. Uh, most of them are actually based on using Billicup or using any type of lookup functions. They want to return a value uh, using more than one criteria. Uh, using more than one column to actually search this. Uh, the most common approach will be to create a unique column or a unique ID where they can actually just uh, use that one as the value to search in an array or in a table or anywhere. But here, what we're going to be doing here with Power Pivot is that we're going to use a function called lookup value that doesn't need to create this unique column. We just need to use each of those three columns here, or any amount of columns that you need, so we can return the value that we actually want from that specific table or that specific array. As you can see here, I'm actually using the Excel's font trick 63, uh, where they actually have these three columns. They actually have the tons, reach span, runway span, and they want to return this column, bin size. But what they actually have is that they actually have tons 10, tons 7.5, and all of these spreadsheets, uh, where they actually have tables different tables with different values and they need to look in all of those tables what I did is that I created this I simplified this so instead of actually having all of this spreadsheet these separate tables I will only have one which is going to be named table what I did to make sure that I was actually doing right is that I just copy paste it all pretty much copied all of this range and then paste a pen in this table I will just once I actually have this uh, range in the clipboard get in here and click here in this section where it says clipboard paste a pen make sure that I'm not, not actually importing the first row and then just hit OK and then I will be able to import all of these values in the table that I want and make just one table for all the values. Then I imported this, uh, these three values, these three columns here as table one. And as you can see here, I created a bin size uh, calculated column that is using the lookup value. Now, the syntax for the lookup value is the following is you need a result column, this is which is Basically, the result column is uh, the column that the value that you want to be the result of this function, uh, the output to say something, and then you're going to specify in which column you're going to be looking up uh, the value that you have in this record. Uh, is basically I want to search in this column the following value. I want to search in this column the following value and so forth so in the first one I'm saying in the table table in name table I want to look up the value in runway span here in this table which is 24 in the table uh, uh, column tons 10 I want to look up the value uh, of tons which is 10 here and then in table column bridge span 10 I want to look up the bridge span by the value of 26 and I want you to return the value that I want and as you can see here is giving me the answer that I want now let's test that answer as you can see here it is giving me uh, the one that I need also let's test that again uh, let's say here I'm adding this to records two rows and I'm updating the file and as you can see here it's giving me the same answer that I want so instead of creating just one unique uh, column 
I can actually use multiple columns to look up for the value that I want. It's simpler, uh, it can actually save you time and it will actually save you more in-memory space than you can actually imagine. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and just subscribe, rate and comment. Leave any questions that you have on the comment section below. Thanks.